This program is brought to you by RHB and the Star. We meet again. I'm Hani Madhu and you are watching Arsh Be The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2011. In this episode, we will take you to Johor Darutak Zim or Plaza Pelangi in Johor to be exact. And we're here to see our friends battle it out in science, math and general knowledge. Johor is a state famous for its unique cuisines such as the Briani Gum and Laksa Johor. And it's also famous for its wonderful art, the unique Zapin dance and also Gazal music, ah, the mesmerizing tunes. It is so beautiful and so enchanting. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's go and see what our friends are up to right now over at the Plaza Plangi. Today, we will see students from all over Joho representing their schools in the lower secondary F123 category and the upper secondary F4, F5 category. How has your team prepared for today's competition? Actually, you know, I have much preparation. Wow, really? Yeah. You are so relaxed. How is your level of general knowledge like? Is it good or is it alright? Average. Average. What if today all the questions are mostly general knowledge? My only answer half. Well, I wish you all the best, Zachary, and thank good you. luck to your team. Yeah, thank you. Joho is all ready and set. Go, Joho! Yes! Herbie was carrying out an experiment using a mixture of vinegar and baking soda to simulate an eruption of a volcano. He was unable to produce enough froth to simulate the oozing of lava. What item can be added to the mixture to produce more froth? And the correct answer is dishwashing liquid. 23 of you getting it right. In the movie, Ali Baba Bujang Lapo, acted and directed by the late Tan Sri P. Ramli, Ali Baba uttered the magical rhyme to open the cave. Which of the following is that rhyme? Right, the answer for this one is Na Ying Song Matakaji Simar Seng. Okay, and 40 of you getting it right. So far, the highest scoring question. Eh? Mr. Sam Muniandi purchased a Porsche and went into an agreement for higher purchase with the local bank. In the higher purchase financing above, the owner of the car is... The answer... Owned by the local bank. Huh? 30 of you getting it right. Find the sum of numbers from 51 to 100 inclusive that are not divisible by two. And the answer should be close to 1900. Closest to 1900 is 1875. 28 of you getting right. Here's the top 10 list of teams in both categories that made it to the next round. How long did it take for you to prepare with your teammates? About two or three weeks because we actually there's been an examination so we haven't much time to prepare for this so yeah that's it. Tell me about your teammates. Do you know them as friends? Yes we are only from four. Uh, we are very tight, we are very close so yeah uh, we have a good chemistry. For the F123 category, the teams have to construct a one-way four-level highway that links to each other through an interchange route system at ground level and with one exit route from anyone with traffic lights at junctions of interchange. Wow! Judges will then give points and the teams proceed to their oral presentation. The bottom level has uh, thinner pillars than the ones that have a uh, higher level. The higher levels have uh, thicker pillars because they need a bigger base area to support their lower centre of gravity. For the F4 
a 5 category, the teams have to construct an indicator system for a fishing rod that is able to alert fishermen when a fish takes the bait and pulls at the hook. Now that's interesting. The judges will give points and proceed to the listening of the oral presentation. We have used the, princip the principle of the third class lever in building this fishing rod. Why is this fishing rod very long? This is to increase the distance between the fulcrum and the effort when the farmer fishes, thus also increasing the force at which he pulls the fish in. Correct the mistake in the diagram which shows the arrangement of apparatus to dry hydrogen gas using concentrated sulfuric acid. What's wrong in this diagram? Study it and give me the answer. Team C, you want to try? What's your answer? Tube A should be long enough to go into the concentrated sulfuric acid. We have a correct answer. Congratulations, Team C. Two points. All the factors of Y are 23, 2, 92, 1, 46, and 4. What is the value of Y? Team C, your answer? 92. We have a correct answer. 92 is the answer. Sir. Well done. To read Braille, a blind person uses his fingertips to identify letters of alphabets and not other body parts. Why? Team D, first to buzz in. The What's fingertip your consists of more touch receptors. Congratulations, we have a correct answer. Team D, yeah? fingertips have more receptors. Correct the mistake in the following statement. Malaysia is divided into East and West Malaysia. She consists of 13 states and two federal territories. Team C, what's your answer? Uh, two federal territories. There should be three federal territories, not two. Accurate indeed. Give him a round of applause. The three are Kuala Lumpur, Putrajaya and Labuan. The results of RHB The Star Mighty Minds 2011 State Challenge. Third place going to SMK Mohamed Khalid, Team 2. We are now going to announce the champion. Champion, RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge, Lower Secondary, going to Maktab Sultan Abu Bakar, Team 1. The champions indeed. Second place going to SMK Taman University 2. The only lady among the 15 qualifiers in the team as well. Third place, SM Science Johor, Team 1. We are now going to announce champions. RHB the star, Mighty Minds National Challenge, Johor. Doing a double for the school. Going to Maktab Sultan Abu Bakar. Team 2! They were in second place after round 1 but they worked their way up to first place. Huh? The runners up is going to SMK Dato Jaffa, Team 2. Well done boys! Congratulations champions! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, clap for yourselves. Do you struggle at all throughout the competition? Well, uh, yeah, actually doing the MCQ questions, right? The first three questions got wrong, you know, so we were like so demoralised. And then after that, the fourth question and onwards we got picked up pace. Like, maybe we settled down and then we slowly got our confidence back. You know? So after three failed attempts at, at answering the question, yes. you guys smooth yeah. sailed all the way. Yeah, we were practically just having fun the entire way. Wow, no, no struggling at all. <laughs> Okay, how do you prepare your uh, sharply dressed students today? I just give them um, some uh, MCQ question, just, just that long. Okay, uh, how, how are you guys picked again? Are you guys picked by grades? Um, yeah, actually, but... Um, uh, actually, we were, the first year we were picked by grades, yes, yes. and then the second year we were, we were picked because we had the experience uh -huh. for the first year, and then now we are like the, like elite, the, elite, the, the yeah. elite Mighty Minds team of our school, so... Earlier on, I only spoke to Zachary, but right now I have the entire team because they are the champions for the lower secondary boys! Yes! yes. Okay, I want to speak to you first, okay? Uh -huh. Did you struggle at all throughout the competition? Well, to, to talk the truth, these are the brains. These are the brains who help me. I only, 
I'm a part of them. Okay. So I also give uh, one of my ideas. <laughs> okay, brains. Yeah, what was it like? It was tough, pretty tough. But our teamwork was there, lah. So that's how we managed to win. So who's the troublemaker out of these three? I'm yeah, guessing him. No. We no. All good together. Behave. All well-behaved boys. Yes. yes. And I'm gonna be seeing you in my hometown, KL, real soon. See you guys in the panels. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. yes. Oh, you live there. Yeah, I do. <laughs> My oh my, they must be so overjoyed. Congratulations guys, truly deserving. I guess we'll be seeing them soon in the finals in KL. Now don't go anywhere because coming up next is Penang. Guys, are we going on a ferry? Because I don't want to get seasick.